Today's protagonists are Vins, Zora, and Enzo. Pics and videos are brought thanks to Vince and Zora, the mini dachshund. Dachshunds originated in Germany as hunting dogs. The name Dachshund literally means badger dog in German, deriving from the German words Dachs and Hund. Nowadays, these cute dogs are also known as Doxy, Dackel, or Tekel, and Wiener, Sausage, or Hot Dog. Illustrations of dogs resembling Dachshunds date to the 15th century, and documents from the 16th century. But the first verifiable references to Dachshunds, originally named the Dachs Creature, Badger Crawler, or Dachs Krieger, Badger Warrior, came from books written in the early 18th century. Though the breed is famous for hunting badgers, Dachshunds were also commonly used for rabbit and fox hunting, and locating wounded deer. In packs, they were known to hunt game as large as wild boar and as fierce as the wolverine. The smooth-haired Dachshund, the oldest style, may be a cross between the German short-haired pointer, a pincher, and a braca, or to have been produced by crossing a short Bruno Jura hound with a pincher. Others believe it was a cross from a miniature French pointer and a pincher. Others claim that it was developed from the St. Hubert Hound in the 18th century. And still, others believe that they were descended from Basset Hounds, based on their scent abilities and general appearance. The long-haired Dachshund may be a cross among any of the small dog breeds in the Spaniel group and the smooth Dachshund. The wire-haired Dachshund, the last to develop, was bred in the late 19th century. There is a possibility the wire-haired Dachshund was a cross between the smooth Dachshund and various hard-coated terriers and wire-haired pinchers such as the Schnauzer, the Dandy Dinman Terrier, the German wire-haired Pointer, or perhaps the Scottish Terrier. In the 1800s, Dachshunds started being bred more as pets than as hunters, especially in Great Britain. They were favorites in royal courts all over Europe, including that of Queen Victoria, who was especially fond of the breed. Due to this trend, their size was gradually reduced. A breed standard was written in 1879, and the German Dachshund Club was founded nine years later, in 1888. By 1885, Dachshunds had made it to America. The Dachshund Club of America was founded ten years later, in 1895. However, during World War I, the breed fell on hard times in the US and England because they were closely associated with Germany. Dachshund owners sometimes were called traitors. To prevent them from being ostracized during World War II, they were temporarily called badger dogs in the US. In the 1950s, Dachshunds became one of the most popular family dogs in the US again, a status they have enjoyed ever since. Dachshunds have long and muscular muzzles. With well-developed jaws, characterized by a scissor bite, even in closing tightly. Its eyes are medium-sized, almond-shaped, set well apart, with a clear energetic, and yet friendly expression. These can be bright dark, reddish-brown to blackish-brown in all coat colors of the dogs. They have rounded ears, set on high, not too forward, that reach the edge of the lips, but not much longer. Dachshunds have been carefully sculpted through years of breeding. Their short, powerful legs as well as their elongated heads enabled dachshunds to go deep into narrow tunnels to pursue their prey. Their long noses enabled them to be good scent hounds. Their ribcage is spacious, giving plenty of space for heart and lung development. This gave them the stamina to hunt. The dachshunds' unusually large and paddle-shaped paws are perfect for digging. Their deep, loud bark also had a reason. It allowed the hunter to locate his dog after it had gone into a burrow. Their long, sturdy tails, extending straight from the spine, provided hunters with a handle to pull the dachshund out of the burrow. And finally, they had to be bold and tenacious. Although the original German dachshunds were larger than today's dachshunds, you can still see the fearlessness for which the breed was developed. The smooth dachshund's coat is short, dense, and shiny. Single-colored, smooth dachshunds are often red or cream. Two-colored, smooth dachshunds are usually black, chocolate, wild boar, gray, or Isabella, with tan or cream markings. 
Dappled Dachshunds have a merle pattern in their coats, with light and dark colored areas in even distribution. Partially or wholly blue eyes and a large amount of white hair on the chest are both acceptable for the Dappled Dachshunds. Other color patterns are Brindle, in which there are dark stripes all over the body, and Sable, where there is an overall dark overlay of hair. Wire-haired Dachshunds have a very different coat from the smooth Dachshunds. They have short, thick, hard hair on the top coat with a softer undercoat. For the wire hair, the most common color is wild boar. Long-haired Dachshunds have glistening, slightly wavy long hair. They come in the same colors found in smooth Dachshunds. Wire-haired Dachshunds are the most common variety of Dachshunds in Germany and the least common in the USA. Out of all the colors, the most common colors are red and black and tan, with red being the more dominant. Size is an area where Dachshunds diverge. In the United States, there are only standard and miniature Dachshunds. But there is an informal middle ground called a tweenie, a shortened form of in-betweeny. In addition to standards and minis, FCI recognizes a third category of tackle, the rabbit Dachshund or Caninchen. The following chart shows chest circumference measured when at least 15 months old, from the highest point of the withers to the lowest point of the chest. A full-grown standard Dachshund averages 16 to 32 pounds, 7.5 to 14.5 kilograms. While the miniature variety normally weighs less than 12 pounds, 5.5 kilograms, the Caninchen weighs 8 to 11 pounds, 3.5 to 5 kilograms. Dachshunds live about 12 to 15 years. The required level of physical activity is medium to low. Dachshunds are a low-maintenance breed. They shed, but not excessively. They are free of doggy odor and do not need to be bathed often. Long-haired Dachshunds must be brushed more regularly than smooth and wire-haired Dachshunds to prevent mats from forming. For all varieties and sizes, you need to pay special attention to their droopy ears, which can be a breeding ground for fungus, bacteria, and mites. If they look dirty, wipe them with a cotton ball. Never stick a cotton swab into your dog's ear. Also, be sure to do regular nail trims to prevent problems with the paws. Dachshunds have a lot of stamina and energy. They love to take a walk, play outdoors with other dogs, and dig. The propensity to dig may result in damaging your potted plants and yard. They are also active inside the house and can do well in small living quarters. However, Dachshunds are naturally prone to developing obesity. Therefore, daily walks are recommended, with a couple of 10-minute walks per day at the minimum, plus some playtime, such as playing fetch. Keeping a Dachshund in shape helps build muscles to protect their long backs from any injuries that may occur. When you hold a Dachshund, always be careful to support his rear and his chest. Dachshunds may be small, but they are mighty in spirit. Doxies make surprisingly good watchdogs but can be noisy. Minis, in particular, can be yappy. Dachshunds are also incredibly intelligent and are renowned for being very independent. Their playfulness can be fun as they can make a game out of almost anything, including something as simple as mopping the floor. They are bred for perseverance, which is another way of saying that they can be stubborn. Some may even have a tendency to be protective and defensive. Proper obedience training and early socialization can turn these potential problems into beneficial qualities. Although many Dachshunds are very tolerant and loyal to children within their family, they may be aggressive and bite an unfamiliar child. Especially one that moves quickly around them or teases them. Dachshunds have a high prey drive, so they may not be a good match for a household that includes pet rodents or other small animals. They usually get along well with other Dachshunds but tend to want to be the top dog in a multi-pet household. Some Dachshund fanciers say there are personality differences among the different varieties of the breed. For instance, the long coat Dachshund is reportedly calmer than the smooth coat variety, 
and the wire coat dachshund is more outgoing and clown-like. The breed is prone to spinal problems, especially intervertebral disc disease IVDD, due to an extremely long spinal column. The risk of injury may be worsened by obesity, jumping, rough handling, or intense exercise, which place greater strain on the vertebrae. In addition to back problems, the breed is prone to patellar luxation. Other dachshund health problems include hereditary epilepsy, gastric torsion or bloat, and Cushing's disease. In some double dapples, there are varying degrees of vision and hearing loss. Not all double dapples have problems with their eyes and or ears, but heightened problems can occur due to the genetic process in which two dapple genes cross, particularly in certain breeding lines. Dilute color dogs, Blue, Isabella, and Cream, are very susceptible to color dilution alopecia, a skin disorder that can result in hair loss and extreme sensitivity to the sun. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that, each new subscriber and positive comment, motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.